Hello everybody, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Um, in the last episode what happened was we interrogated this android, he gave us some information, and yeah. Software instability. Nice, nice. There was four different variants. I say we got the best one. Downtown. All right. End of the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Just pull out the gun, like pop him a couple times. <laughs> Okay. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Yeah, we don't want her to catch cold. Coffee shop would be closed. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We are. I have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Looks like we're gonna have to get to the other side of town. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Uh, there's a seven eleven. Well, a twenty-four eleven. <laughs> Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Food for Alice. Her favorite doll.
Is that all that's in here? Yeah. Okay. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? Hmm. You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Shoplift, rob. Okay. So first things first. I take the old man's car. Steal. Okay. Um. This chalky bar. You know the drill. No, 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 Please tell me I get to. Okay, take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steal. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Put that back right now. Um. No. Shit. I'm sorry, but we're desperate. All right. Just take it easy. Uh, apologetic. Listen, I'm really sorry, but you have to get down on the floor. Take whatever you want. Just don't kill me. Carl, what are you doing? I'm sorry. You can't do that. It's wrong. It's going to be all right, Alice. Take from register. Take from register. Take take the money out of the register. Yeah. Play it smart. Come on, let's go. Okay. As far as you're concerned, we disappeared. Fuck! That's all you need to know. You stole it? Stealing is bad, Carl. Why did you do that? I had no choice. It was the only way, Alice. Stealing's... <laughs> this is gonna sound so much worse than I wanted to. Stealing's only bad if you're doing it for a bad reason. <laughs> that sounds so much more horrible. Look at the lighting. Look at the shine off the... I'm sorry, I just had to take a moment to appreciate the beauty. But no, it's... In movies and in fiction, stealing is only bad it's when You'll you no kill people. In real life, stealing's bad no matter what. But... I take the old man's I don't remember any of the lyrics. I just heard that song on TikTok. Yeah, we we kind of have to. To be fair, yeah, yeah. Alice will come to love me. Easy. Okay. Uh, 
Got me doing the old claw. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Cha! I swear to the Lord. Come on. Excuse me. Go to motel. Uh, let's go to the motel. It's forty. Motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. This is a cheap motel. Car forgot no license. I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. <laughs> we can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. You too. Good night. Cool, 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 cool. Which one's our room? Do you think he believed you? Twenty-eight. I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Twenty-eight. So okay. I'm sorry if people were like, "Oh, why are you stealing?" Well, simple answer. It was the best option at the time. Alice gets a toy. And chocolate and yeah I don't know what else to tell you all right mini fridge bust open the mini fridge eat drink as much as you want Yeah. How many bullets are in that? Here, give me your coat. Hang our jacket. And the hat. Okay, let's draw those. Uh, well, yeah. I have a chocolate bar. Are you hungry? I know I stole a little bit, but calm down, Alice. What do you want? Let's get these clothes off. They're so yeah. wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Is there any? 
Here we are. Yeah, that'll work. That's good enough. Comfort Alice. <sighs> we gotta find a way to cover up that LED. Yo. How you, how you holding up? Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. You were the best I daughter you be could be. I just wanted him to love me. Man. Why couldn't we just be happy? No. You'll never leave me, right? Promise no, you'll never go. No, never. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Forever. I was expecting a bigger reaction other than, hey, thanks. Like, I'm a grateful kid. Walk away. No, I didn't see a scene about that. Okay. I, I could have sworn I saw a scene where it was like she cut her hair or something. I guess I'm thinking of something else. Oh, this story, man. So there's only two options. Oh, oh, I didn't want to click that. I wanted to look around at a little map for a little bit longer. Okay, sorry for that small interruption. And back into it we are. Oh, sorry, I was looking around. This isn't... My god, it is. Missing. Our ears are damaged. Our leg is just busted. 
and our Ethereum pump regulator is damaged. Fantastic. Uh, come on. Come on, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. to do that all while holding it. Alright. <sighs> oh, it's both legs that are gone. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, no. Come on. You got this, Marcus. I believe in you. Escape junkyard. When did this become a horror movie? His eye. Where is this eye? I am not seeing it. Oh, compatible.
Ah, there we go. Compatible. Hello. I'm an AK-700 Android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact me near the Cyber Life Maintenance Center. A little bit less fuzzy. There we are. Functional, there we are. <clears throat> Functional and compatible. A double whammy. Okay, now we hear nothing. Oh, that's so loud. Oh, hey, right, cool. What was my option over here? Okay. Gotta be careful, friend. Okay. Climb up slow. Hold on. There was something over here. Nope. This is climb up slow. I'm just gonna take a take a trip around, make sure I'm not missing any like hidden background secrets. Any background secrets? Interactions? No? Alright. Back to the hill. Yeah, that kind of interaction is what I was looking for. Alright. Come on, Marcus. You got this. Sir.
What are we checking? Oh. So now, as far as the public is concerned, you're just a man. <clears throat> My name is Marcus. Ho ho ho! There's other things I could have done? Hmm. <clears throat> Connor has like red eyes. Like they're brownish red. Find Amanda. <clears throat> This is not Detroit. No way. It's too sunny and bright. And warm. Hello, lady. Can you direct me in the ways of Amanda? Hello, Amanda. Oh, hey, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. <clears throat> and the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Hmm. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. It what was. What did you think of the deviant? Traumatized deviancy trauma. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Unpleasant, dysfunctional, unsure. It's obviously not what I was expecting. I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Friendly. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most yeah. advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. <laughs> Hurry, Connor. There's mm. little time. Yeah, hurry, Connor. There's little time. Ooh. All right. Sorry I broke immersion again in one episode, but I'll try not to do that moving forward. Yo. Help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Okay. <clears throat> this is the right way, right? Yeah, okay.
the forensics. Breathe, breathe. Anderson. <clears throat> Lieutenant Anderson. <clears throat> My, me. I'm sorry. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Hmm. Explore office? Yes, I shall. Okay. Sorry, I keep using that as a quick swivel, but. Ooh. Knights of the Black Death. Dark Heavy Metal. Huh. Um. I want to mess with this phone. <clears throat> um, he has a dog. <clears throat> He's Detroit's fan. Huh. Anti Android slogans. Of course, he enjoys donuts. Ah. <clears throat> he likes coffee. There is another. <clears throat> Jimmy's bar matches. Cool. <clears throat> oh, hey, Hank. Good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. All right. Explore the office, enter and listen. Hmm. I'm going to enter and listen. <clears throat> I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. Mm. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that <clears throat> guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to oh. investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly <clears throat> qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. Hmm. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, Anderson positive. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. I, Connor, I just have leave. Have a nice day, Captain. 
I think I might be sick. Probably not, though. I'll hope not. Check on that. Sup, buddy? I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Uh, partners, pause the... In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Uh... Desk? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, I think Hank hates me. Um. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. <laughs> oh, good boy, Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? <laughs> That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. oh. Um. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? <clears throat> I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Oh, sorry, Hank. Uh, you have known Captain Fowler for long. Yeah, too long. I hope that won't set him off more. Hours? I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? I'm gonna if just. If you have any files on Deviants, <clears throat> I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Yep. Oh, I feel so uncomfortable. I feel incredibly uncomfortable with this. Uh, case reference. Disappearance. Victim Gordon Lopez. Reporting officer. ID unit. Case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson. Case status open. Involving Android? Yes. The plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work or when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in uh, in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. Case reference attack. Victim Charles Bell. Assigned to Lieutenant Anderson. Case open. Involving android. The plaintiff, the plaintiff claims uh, to have been attacked by a and then lists model android. Working as a waiter in the fast Connie Dogs restaurant chain situated at and then uh 842 Chamberlain Lane or uh, Avenue the plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene the android remains at large attack Cheryl Cornwall the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android an uh, an AP 700, uh, the weird symbol thing, and then it says the model number. The android also trashed sh several rooms in the house before taking flight. 
Disappearance. Victim, Floyd Miles. Plaintiff, uh, the plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported an, uh, the unexpected disappearance of a sex bot model. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the Eden Club. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Huh. An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Okay. Direct, aggressive, professional, understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. No. But you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Okay. Uh, determined, reassignation, threatened. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. Uh, I it was shouldn't up to have me. Said I threw that. the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last <clears> night. <throat> it's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Maybe you shouldn't have said, you know, half those things, Connor. <clears throat> Hank got a lead. Hank Hank is mad was an inevitability. <laughs> There was literally no other option other than Hank is mad. Great. Fantastic. Alright everyone. Uh, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm enjoying playing this. And I know there's much more to come from this series. Um, after this and everything. And I just hope you guys will enjoy this. And like and subscribe. Uh, that'll help me out a lot. And, yeah, I will be streaming on Twitch, um, every Wednesday from, well, now on, pretty much. Um, but yeah, no, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch all you people in the next one. Bye-bye!